In this presentation, you will learn about three ways to find your focus so you can get more done. One of the most significant challenges we face in this fast-paced, technologically driven world is our ability to stay focused. Staying focused and avoiding information overload is one of the best ways to get things done and move forward with our lives. If you find that you lack focus in your daily life, here are three ways that you can find your focus so you can get more done. Focus on one thing. Confucius once said, He who chases two rabbits catches none. Many of us can relate to chasing after too many things during our day. However, if we take the advice of Confucius and focus on one thing at a time, we can get more done and achieve our goals more quickly. Working on more than one thing at a time does nothing more than waste our valuable time and accomplish less. When you multitask, it takes our brain time to readjust and concentrate on the second task, once again taking up precious time that is eventually lost in the changeover. Calm the mind While you might think that in this day and age our biggest distraction is Facebook, however, as it turns out, our thoughts racing through our minds when we are trying to get things done is an even more significant distraction. These thoughts often tempt us away from the job that we need to do. They also, annoyingly and repeatedly inform us, that while we are working on task A, that task B, C, and D are still unfinished. To get more done, you have to take control of your thoughts and redirect them to the job at hand. A great way to calm the mind is through the regular practice of meditation. It can help to silence the constant chatter that we all experience from time to time. Simplify your life The more you can simplify your life and your job, the more work you can get done. However, you don't just want to get work done to get work done. You want to be able to get the important tasks completed, those tasks that make a difference in the big picture. Many will busy themselves on functions that are unnecessary and wasting time on things that aren't adding value to our lives. Eliminate these from your life and you will have more time to focus on what is essential. Staying focused on your life is the key to getting more done and accomplishing your goals. Implementing these three ways of getting focused will help you achieve your goals and find success. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you the four things that will kill your motivation. Getting what you want out of your life comes down to being able to get yourself motivated to do the things that need to be done. Unfortunately, many of us tend to lose the motivation to accomplish our goals. It can be useful to know some of the things that can kill your motivation so that you can work to prevent it. Here are four things that will quickly destroy your motivation and keep you from succeeding. Forgetting your passions Many people don't engage in activities that bring them joy because they believe they don't have the time or energy to do the things they enjoy. If you don't usually try to do what you love, start now. Get up early so you have the time to engage in an activity that you love. The result will be increased motivation and boundless energy. Doing things you find boring Everyone has to do things that they dislike, from taking out the trash to cleaning the oven to going to work every day. It isn't the tasks themselves that make you bored, but rather your attitude. When you tackle a job with positivity, you can be enthusiastic no matter the work. Create an incentive for yourself to tackle the tasks you dread, focusing on upbeat thoughts. Spending time with negative people Spending time with people who have a negative outlook on life will quickly kill your motivation. Their gloomy outlook can be infectious and can leave you grumbling and groaning about life. If at all possible, you should try to avoid these kinds of people. If you find that you have to be around them, resist the temptation to take up their feelings of negativity. Neglecting your health and well-being It can be tough to stay motivated when you're tired, live on junk food, and argue with your partner every night. It is essential to look after your well-being and remain in good shape if you want to achieve success in your life. Exercising on a regular basis will boost your energy, as will eating nutritious food. Take care of yourself and you'll soon notice an increase in your motivation. You might currently be suffering from a lack of motivation, but you can increase your enthusiasm with simple steps. Control your happiness and avoid these behaviors and beliefs that kill your motivation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five ways you can build your self-discipline and reach your goals. We all know someone who has incredible self-discipline. The key to finding success in achieving your goals and plans is to become more self-disciplined in all aspects of your life. Discipline is critical to your overall success in both your personal and professional life. 
If you lack the self-discipline you need to reach your goals, here are five ways you can help yourself become more disciplined. Start small. You don't have to wake up as a completely different person. People tend to make New Year's resolutions, telling themselves that the new year will be different. You can make the new year different, but you don't need to change everything at once. To achieve the best results, start small and choose one thing to change. Trying to change too many things at once can become overwhelming and cause you to lose motivation quickly. Figure out what you want to do differently. When you are thinking about what you want to change in your life, pick something that is practical and something that will make a difference in your life. And it should ideally be something that you enjoy. Figure out the characteristics that you lack and build on that. Take action. Those with self-discipline don't sit around waiting until someone tells them what to do. They go out and do it. This may mean giving up some of your downtime at work. But those who are disciplined are the ones who succeed. And being disciplined means that you keep going even when you would rather not. Make a list. Part of being self-disciplined is knowing what you need to get done and then doing it. When you're not used to being disciplined in your life, you may find that you struggle to decide on your next activity. Start your day by making a list of tasks that you need to accomplish. Being able to check the items off your list can help you build more self-discipline. Make choices in advance. If your goal is to pay better attention during meetings, choose to leave your phone at your desk. If you want to become more self-disciplined with food, you can always decide only to eat half of what you are served. Learn to make decisions before a situation presents itself, and you'll find it easier to remain disciplined. Building your self-discipline can help in all areas of your life. If you're ready to become more disciplined, pick one of these techniques and get started. Gradually, you'll become more disciplined in that one area, and then you can move on to the next area. In this presentation, I'm going to show you five ways to motivate yourself and find your inner drive. When it comes to getting results and succeeding in life, it takes motivation and ability. It is your motivation that makes things happen. One of the easiest ways to improve your effectiveness is to master your motivation and find your inner drive. Focus on one goal. If you find that you lack the motivation to even get through your day, it may be because you have too much going on. When you take on too much and try to accomplish too many goals at the same time, you can find your energy and motivation waning. You can't maintain focus and energy when you're trying to accomplish more than one goal at a time. You have to choose one goal and focus on it entirely. Get excited. If you want to find your motivation, you have to get excited about your goal. This starts by finding inspiration from others, whether in the form of books, blogs, or magazine articles about someone's success. Then you have to take this excitement and build on it. Once you've gotten excited about one goal, it's become a matter of carrying that energy forward to the next target. Think about it daily. If you think about your goal on a daily basis, it is much more likely to be accomplished. Posting your goal on your wall or computer desktop can help you keep your goal in the forefront of your mind. You can also send yourself daily reminders. Also, doing just one thing, even if it's small, to further your goal every day, you will not only accomplish your goal, but do it sooner than you could ever imagine. Understand there are ebbs and flows. Motivation isn't a constant thing that will always be there for you. It comes and goes like the tide. You have to realize that while it might go away, that this isn't permanent. It will come back. You just have to stick with it and wait for your motivation to return. Stick with it. No matter what you do, don't give up. Even if you lack motivation today or this week, don't stop. Your motivation will return. You need to think of your goal as a long journey, and your lack of motivation is nothing more than a bump in the road. Stay with it for the long run, and eventually, you'll get there. Even the most motivated of us can become unmotivated at times. With some small steps, you can get started down the road to positive change. How to Achieve a Positive Mindset 5 Practical Tips In this presentation, I'm going to provide you with 5 practical tips for achieving a positive mindset. Several scientific studies have demonstrated both the mental and physical benefits of positive thinking. Having a positive mindset can lead to more confidence, an improved mood, and a reduced likelihood of developing depression, hypertension, and other stress-related conditions. Here are 5 practical tips for achieving a positive mindset. Start the day with positive affirmations. How you start your morning sets the tone for the rest of your day. Starting off your day with negative emotion and a pessimistic view 
will carry into every event that you experience for the rest of that day. Instead of letting these negative views dominate your entire day, start your morning off with positive affirmations. You'll be amazed at how much your day improves with this simple change. Focus on the good things. It's inevitable that you will face obstacles and challenges throughout your day. When you encounter these challenges, focus on how it will benefit you, no matter how small or unimportant they may seem. For instance, if you have to deal with traffic daily, think about how you have time to plan your day or listen to the rest of your favorite podcast. Find the humor in bad situations. Even in the most trying situations, you need to allow yourself to experience humor. Remind yourself that the position you're currently in will make for a good story later on and try to laugh about it. If you're laid off, try to imagine the most absurd way that you could spend your last day or even think about a ridiculous job that you might pursue next. Turn failures into lessons. Nobody is perfect. We all make mistakes and experience failure throughout our life. Rather than focusing on how you failed, think about what you learned and how you can change the outcome the next time around. To achieve a positive mindset, you need to learn how to turn your failures into valuable lessons. Focus on the present. Those with positive mindsets know how to focus on the present moment. They aren't thinking about what happened five minutes ago or what they are going to do in the near future. They only focus on the exact moment they are in. Most sources of negativity stem from a memory of a recent event or the imagination of a potential future. Learn to stay in the present moment and watch as your mindset shifts. Anybody can apply these tips to their own lives and increase their positive attitude. Positive thinking will offer you compounding returns and give you more significant benefits than you realize. In this presentation, I'm going to show you what you need to do to find your inner drive. There are some days when you wake up with enough motivation to get through your day, while other days you find it difficult to find your inner drive. On the days that you lack motivation, try these five simple strategies to find your internal drive and get things done. Practice Meditation Meditation has been around for centuries. It provides you tremendous benefits when practiced on a regular basis. Along with helping you calm your mind, it also enables you to connect with your breath and let go of your concerns. Many successful people practice meditation as a way to help slow them down and find their focus. Regular meditation can provide you with a sense of direction on your path to success. Start journaling. Journaling is another great way for you to clear your mind and focus on the essential parts of your journey to success. The process of journaling helps you shed light on what it is you truly desire by removing the roadblocks of your emotions and feelings. Watch yourself talk. Is your narrative negative or positive? The latter will encourage you to move forward, while the former will keep you stuck. If you find yourself getting down on yourself, know that it is nothing but your fear talking. When you feel unmotivated and afraid, Negative thinking kicks in as a way to protect ourselves from difficult situations. Finding your inner drive so you can achieve your goals requires you to switch from negative to positive self-talk. Know what you want. Having clarity of mind and direction will help you find your inner drive and move forward with confidence. When you don't have a clear path in mind, every step you take toward your goal is a step that will get you to the wrong place faster. Always knowing where you want to go will help you find and keep your motivation. Be resilient. You will always have people in your life that will doubt your ability. Don't let them stop you from taking a chance and doing what you set out to do. When people criticize you, it means that you got them thinking. Always stay focused on what you believe in and forge ahead with your goals. Finding your inner drive will keep you motivated and working toward your goals. With the right motivation in your life, you will find it easy to find the success you're looking for. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to shift to a growth mindset and achieve success. Having a fixed mindset will only increase the limitations that you face in your life. According to Stanford University psychologist Dr. Carol S. Dweck, those with a fixed mindset firmly believe that intellect is static, while those who have a growth mindset strongly believe that one's intelligence evolves. Here are the best techniques for developing a growth mindset. Create a compelling belief. When it comes to shifting to a growth mindset, you must first start by creating a new compelling belief that your skills and talents can be honed when you apply yourself. It is your consistent effort and enjoyment of your chosen path in life that will illuminate the road to mastery. View failure in a different light. 
when you are facing failure, this is the time you need to apply extra effort to improve your results significantly. Failure is really about what you do and understand what you can learn from that failure. Remember, your failures do not define you. Improve your self-awareness. To shift your mindset, you have to become aware of your many talents and gifts while fully comprehending your key strengths, as well as your weaknesses. Talk to your family, friends, and colleagues and ask them for feedback. They will be able to offer you different views and give you a better overall perspective on what you should focus on and areas for more development. Become a curious learner. To shift your mindset, you have to be willing to focus on learning and growing regularly. Start by asking more questions and being more curious, in general, about everyone you meet, their journey, and what they can teach you. Every person you meet and every experience you have will teach you about the world, yourself, and others. Embrace challenges. When you choose to climb a mountain, you must overcome the insurmountable challenges you face to get to the top. Having a growth mindset means learning and taking decisive action time and again. It's about excelling with problems and allowing them to propel you forward toward your goal. Those with a growth mindset will continue to get back up no matter how far they fall. Developing a growth mindset is based entirely on your willingness and commitment to change your beliefs so that you can wake up to become a better version of yourself. Make the decision today to shift your mindset so you can lead an incredible life tomorrow. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to strengthen your inner drive. When you've been working on something for a while, it's normal to need a bit of a boost. External motivators like praise and money will only get you so far. While they will kickstart you at the beginning of your journey, they won't be enough to carry you to the finish line. When the world throws obstacles in your way, you need a strong inner drive to triumph. Here are several ways to strengthen your internal drive when you need to improve your self-motivation. Journal You may have to work to create a bit of a habit of this one, but it will be well worth your time and effort. Journaling isn't only a great way to document your journey, but it is also a way for you to dump all the crazy thoughts and feelings out so you can focus on the stuff that really matters. You can use the journal to write down your goals, list things you're grateful for, or record what you've accomplished during the week. Visualize your success. What will it look like when you reach your goals? Look past the material rewards and focus on the social and personal rewards that you'll gain when you accomplish your goals. Envisioning your success will be enough to motivate you and push you toward your goals. You can create a vision board to help make your concepts more concrete and give yourself a visual reminder of why you need to keep pushing towards success, even when you hit bumps in the road. Practice optimism. Your attitude and your attitude alone make up a majority of your ability to reach your goals. Try to maintain a positive attitude by practicing optimism throughout your day. Rather than thinking that you are bad at something, tell yourself that it's something that you're working on. Instead of focusing on how much you dislike a particular task, Think about how you can look forward to something else that excites you. While optimism alone won't guarantee you'll be successful, you still have to put in the effort and gather resources. It will help you immensely in getting there. A robust inner drive will help to keep you working toward your goals, even during those times when you feel yourself losing your motivation and energy. These simple tips can help you strengthen your inner drive so you can accomplish all your goals and find success. Simple Techniques to Help You Fire Up Your Inner Drive In this presentation, I'm going to show you simple ways you can fire up your inner drive and achieve success. Everyone from time to time lacks the energy to work towards accomplishing our goals. If you find that you don't have the motivation to get up and get moving toward your goals, then you should try these simple techniques to raise your motivation and fire up your inner drive. Technique 1. Think of the Worst Case Scenario if you haven't already been told, envisioning success is an excellent motivator. However, imagining the exact opposite could be just as motivating. Try envisioning a future that is hopeless, bleak, and stripped of all happiness and success. Envisioning yourself living forever in a rut where hope and a sense of accomplishment are non-existent should be enough to get you fired up about your goals. Technique number two, set a date for change. Change is an inevitable part of life. Sometimes change is forced upon us, and sometimes we are the ones that choose when it will happen. It is always better when we have control over the change. If you are looking to change something by a specific date, make a large red circle around the date on a calendar and stick with it. Let it serve as a motivator to start to do things that will move you in the direction of your goal. Technique number three, 
don't lose sight of your goals. When you are distracted by the things going on around you, it is easy to lose focus. To prevent yourself from killing off your motivation, always try to stick with your goals and work to shut out the distractions that are pulling you in another direction. Technique number four, break the routine. When you are doing the same thing day after day, you can quickly lose your enthusiasm about the task at hand, which can result in the draining of your energy. No matter how passionate you are with your work and goals, you will start to lose your motivation when your body senses that it is performing the same tasks on a daily basis. Don't be afraid to break out of your routine every once in a while. These simple techniques can help to energize you and fire up your inner drive. By focusing on the activities that keep you motivated, you will discover that you can easily accomplish what you set out to do and find the success that you desire. In this tutorial, I'm going to present to you the top secrets for unlocking your inner drive. Everyone suffered from a lack of motivation, those periods in your life when you don't want to do the vital project, even though you know that by finishing it, it will open the door for future happiness and fulfillment. Here are some secrets for unlocking your inner drive during those times that you lack motivation. Secret number one, just show up. While it always feels better to feel motivated about your tasks, it isn't something that is necessary. If you want to wait around for inspiration to strike, you could end up waiting an extremely long time. Most successful people don't wait until they feel motivated. They just show up to work and get on with it. Just showing up will often lead to inspiration and the motivation to continue. Secret number two, acknowledge the power of accumulation. Often we overestimate the amount of work we can get done in a single day and underestimate the amount of work we can get done by consistently chipping away at a task. Spending just 15 minutes on a project daily for a month can yield significant results. When it comes to unlocking your inner drive, consistency is the key. Secret number three, build a habit. The most effective way to embed consistency in your life is to create a habit. To start to build a pattern, block out a specific amount of time during the day that works for you. Then practice doing your essential tasks during that time until it becomes completely automatic. Secret number four, Remember, nothing great is ever simple. When it seems difficult to get going on a task, remind yourself that if it were easy, everyone would be doing it. The harder you have to work at something, the higher your sense of satisfaction will be once you accomplish your goal. Secret number five, conquer your fear of failure. If you consider yourself a perfectionist, your motivation may be undermined by the fear that what you produce won't meet your expectations. If you finish your work and put it out to the world, you are making yourself vulnerable to judgment, criticism, or rejection. To protect your ego, you make sure that you never quite finish. Don't let perfect be your enemy and learn to allow things to be less than ideal. Even the most perfect work is useless to the world if it's sitting in your desk drawer. Everyone needs to find a way to unlock their inner drive if they want to find success. Learning and incorporating these secrets for unlocking your internal drive can get you on the right track for success.